Whisper. You know what would be the best deck if if he'll get got banned? Uh, Phoenix? No. What do you mean, no? It would be Dredge. Uh, I don't think so. I guarantee it. I, I have always been the of the opinion... people aren't playing Dredges because Hogex is a better I have version. always been of the opinion that of the two of the two decks, Phoenix is the more powerful one. False. No, it wouldn't be Blue White. Blue White's trash, remember from... What did you say? Oh, maybe it's not trash. Wait a minute. Did Anthony just pay a life for that when he had a Stirring Wildwood untapped? He's leaving up a path, I guess. Yeah, probably. He's going to feel really silly if he doesn't play a two drop, which he didn't. Oh, there goes that life, Anthony. Okay, he paid a life. <laughs> so he's at 19. Okay. God, Band is probably not his suit with Harlan <laughs> Cord. <laughs> I hey mean, man, yeah. he's 3-0 right now. Clearly, he's yeah, no, found you, new meta. You don't understand. This deck's secretly really good, but stuff like Hogak is just keeping it down. As soon as it's gone, decks like this will start <laughs> rising up. You don't, you don't understand. Oh, so why is that a Nurturing Peatland in his Naya deck? Uh, I would assume because Nurturing Peatland is much cheaper than Horizon Canopy. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's my guess. Uh, I, don't, I don't know how accurate that is. Well, isn't there the red-white one, though? That one's also very expensive. Oh my burn. god. Yeah, Get bolted. Yeah. Double lightning bolts green rough. Tapped. Andrew is savage. Who's Andrew? Oh, you're Me. Andrew. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm tired, man. My bad. I totally forgot your name for like half a second. I'm like, wait. Andrew, this is going to be one for An Frump. I thought he meant Andrew Rash. Andrew Rash is, like, one of the higher-ups in our company, like, one of the top-tier guys. Okay. So whenever it from says, like, the name Andrew, I'm like, oh, God, what is Rash doing? <laughs> we call him Dick Rash. All right. I hope he doesn't ever hear this. <laughs> Anthony going to fetch shock himself Everybody again. riot. <laughs> or maybe he's not going to fetch shock again. Hey, man, I tried to get blue-white on camera, but Anthony is being Anthony tonight. And he really wanted to play on camera. He's 3-0. Like, it's it's fair to put him on stream, whatever. But you know what? Type that in all uppercase. It's fair to put him on stream. <laughs> yeah. Uppercase and lowercase letters. All right. Four mana, Bloodbird Elf. What do we got? That's Huntmaster, maybe? Or Arlen Cord? Or Okay, Bolt. Sure. Riot. <laughs> Take six. Good job, Anthony. <laughs> They're starting to riot, man. Oh, God. <laughs> So, like, in theory, Jun should do fine against this, right? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, I think Mitch is probably just going to slam a blood braid of his own. Or he's got Goif uh, and Skuz, maybe? If he wants maybe? to play a little more defensively, he can just play Goif and Skuz. And uh, have, like, two creatures, and then Skuz will be gaining him life every turn. Drops down to 12. Yep. That's the line he takes. Yeah, probably best just to get the make your uh, double spell. I mean, turn. it's the correct play. I get it, yeah. but I like Bloodbraid Elf. Yeah, I I understand. <laughs> <laughs> this is a bit more interesting than last round. Yes, <laughs> it is a bit more interesting. It still feels like 2014, uh, but it's a little more interesting. That's even like going way back. That's like 2012. Yeah, 2011 modern. <laughs> He's going to shock himself again. Anthony's mana base is really painful. Yeah, it is. Got to get that nurturing peat land. <laughs> I don't even think he plays any cards in the board that need a black mana. Oh, I missed I missed him hurting himself from the nurturing peat land <laughs> last turn. Scavenging ooze. Dude, this you know what well, we're going to the theme of tonight is it's like bringing back the classics. Yeah, right? Classic modern matchups. We got old hits for you tonight on the Game Storm Stream. Game Storm Stream. Game Storm Stream. All right. What what does he have in left in hand? I I we have no idea what that checklist card is. There is absolutely no way for us to know which one that is. Would there be a way for us to get like a sound effect board in here so I could like start making boing noises or? Yeah, I I could do something <laughs> stupid like that, but I'm not going to. On Van Death Ray Shaman, yeah. He's just trying to absolutely. start a fight. Look at this guy. <laughs> no, no, no. I I agree with him. 
<laughs> no, don't unban I, Death I Rite. I unironically agree with unbanning Death Rite, Sean. Man. I unironically disagree with you. All right. <laughs> sure. Still busy rioting. <laughs> Summer Bloom. Oh, God, do not unban ga Summer Bloom. <laughs> that one's not fun. Flip the table. <laughs> There's a lot of stuff on that table. If they flipped that table right now out there, there'd be cards all over the floor. You know what would happen? We would see Dan Horgan freak out on the camera. Oh, yeah. Well, What are you guys doing? Well, they'd probably <laughs> knock over the, the PVC and we'd lose the camera feed first. So. Well, we'd see Dan Horgan's ankles come into the shot and two people falling down when he tore them in half. <laughs> it, after the Rage Beast so, activates. I, I don't understand what's going on here right now. So... Did Anthony, did Anthony attack with Bloodbird Elf and then Mitch just didn't block? I guess I he was know. playing around Bolt, maybe. Crease all the nice Jund foils. <laughs> Oof. Can we play Flip It or Rip It with Anthony's deck? Uh, we'll flip one, then I'm rip one. I'm pretty sure the majority of Anthony's deck is not actually his. <laughs> That's fair. It's probably John's. All right. Oof. That's big oof right there. <coughs> uh, I don't see Naya winning the top deck war. I mean, we've got... Hey, man, we got a stirring Wildwood. You hush. <laughs> <laughs> that's a lot worse than Raging Ravine, which is the... If you wanted to play a Manland, that's the one you would put and in And we your got deck. Arlen Court on camera for the second time tonight, guys. Is Mitch on Old John? Yeah. Yes. Yeah, this is... This is 2012 John. Dude, I can't believe Arlen Cord's been on camera twice tonight. Oof. <laughs> I don't know why that oof fucking makes me I am, I am laugh upset so that this card has entered play twice now. <laughs> I assume he's taken another life from Captain. Ban Wildwood because bad. <laughs> Ban Arlen Cord so I don't have to see it on stream ever again. Look at him. He's like, what is this trash? <laughs> it is trash. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm waiting for Anthony to, like, play new Samet and <laughs> give something haste. <laughs> nah, play old Salmon, and give something double strike. Ooh, there we go. This wolf can get double strike, get in for four. <laughs> all right, blood what other off. bad cards should we play in modern? You know, we're talking about good cards all night. Let's talk about bad cards. Bad cards? Let's, uh, play, let's make a Fall of the Thran deck, a land destruction. <laughs> <laughs> That involves exiling their graveyard, so we'll play like Ashiok. Another news, Tybalt is good now, I guess. In what format? What are you playing <laughs> no, format? No, just joking. <laughs> oh, okay. That's a pretty cool card to hit off of Bloodbraid Elf. Ooh. However, you're not discarding anything, so it just kind of... Uh, it's a two. It draws two, though. Yeah. That's good. That's real good. Naya Zoo is better than Mono Red Prison. That's not true. Mana Leak? Yeah, that, yeah you're right. Card's bad. Naya Zoo's better than... I, no, Mono Red Prison is a great is deck. definitely the better deck, in my opinion. Mono Red Prison doesn't have to play cards like Arlen Cord. To be fair, Naya Zoo doesn't have to either. Enchanter, <laughs> Spike, and Phoenix. <laughs> <laughs> That's the most kitchen table shit I've ever heard. <laughs> it's worse than Arlen Cord. What is Cord. he doing? I don't even know what the downtick on this does. Team or elemental deck that could be competitive with younger seasoned Pyromancer. And Risen Reef? Ooh. What even is Risen Reef? You're making that me... That card is sweet. Seasoned Pepper Steak. <laughs> That's so bad. Why no, would dude, anyone... Are you kidding? Are you kidding? Did you read what that does at Coiling Oracles every time an Elemental Oracle Yeah, I can display? read. But... Do you know how good that card is to see? It's Coiling Oracle on Mega Steroids. I, 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 sure. You don't watch a lot of Standard, do you? No. <laughs> okay, yes. In Standard, this card would be great. It is great. Now imagine playing that with the new Chandra that makes two elementals. I don't, I don't know what other elementals <laughs> are in the format, but There's it, plenty. it seems pretty neat. Chat, give us some good elemental creatures. You could play Omnath, Locus of Mana. <laughs> no, I'm talking about ones that are in Standard. You're not registering Risen Reef in Modern. We're talking about it right here with Young and Seasoned Pyromancer. No. Making elementals. Force of savagery? No. <laughs> <laughs> that does not count. <laughs> we should make a mono green gigantosaurus deck. 
in modern. <laughs> because most decks can't beat a 10-10. Ten -ten. Raging Ravine attacking. Back to the game. <laughs> Risen Reef in modern. Can't he just what? block and then pump it with... Anthony. <laughs> Risen Reef in modern. So what are the good elementals in modern Twitch, Chad? Do we know? <coughs> Does anybody have good elementals? Like, what are our payoffs? There are none. There, I bet you they will give us some good ones. Because elemental is a good creature type. Uh, is it? Yeah. Haven't you ever seen, like, Horde of Notions? We could play a Horde of Notions yeah, and get a trigger off a of Risen Wreath. <laughs> Great. All right. Rubble Hulk. <laughs> Rubble Hulk. Yeah, dude. Yeah, Fulminator Mage Fulminator is an elemental. Fulminator Mage is an elemental, yes. Kiln yeah. Fiend, there's your payoff here, your young peasy. That's not a payoff. <laughs> you're, you're shov Why are you putting Risen Reef in your deck if you're not doing anything with... Like, elemental token after voice of resurgence dies. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there. Now, now we're thinking like big brain. Yeah, that's 200 IQ right there. Flankin Zealot, okay. What's that one do? That one's really familiar. I can't remember That's what it does. That's the, the card that Mono Red was playing back in the day. It's a good card. <laughs> Hell's Thunder. Yeah, they could play the new Blightning, the Skelemental. Oh, no. No, wait. Yeah, that You're was You're in, elemental. like, five colors now? <laughs> what are you doing? Yeah, Horde of Notions reanimates them. Or, um, no, it casts yeah, them out of course your it hand. Does. <laughs> Devastating summons. <laughs> I mean, yeah... That does, in fact, trigger Risen Reef, and then you get all your lands back. Tillinali that Center, that thing's sweet, actually. Makes a bunch of dorks. Yeah. See, we're getting there. Plague Engineer. Twitch chat, you're the best. What is he naming with this? Who cares? Warrior? Sure. Sideboard Ingot Chewer. Yay. Ooh. I that's mean, big game. Are you playing... Are you playing... Drifter, boys. How about Drifter? Are you playing Modern Staple Flamekin Harbinger? Yes, you gotta, obviously. You gotta play that. You go find other elementals, and then you can draw it off the Risen Reef. Yeah. Put it in your hand that's immediately. Just, that's, that's just a combo. value. That is a combo, sir. Yeah, you, you get you get to play Flamekin Harbinger and then stack your trigger so that it puts the card on top first and then triggers. Exactly. And it. It's and busted. Super busted. It's a one mana zero three that goes and replaces itself with your best card. See, exactly. You cannot deny the team are elementals. Is he blocking? Drifter, bro? You're telling me you don't want to evoke a Mold Drifter, draw two, and then <laughs> Risen Reef? <laughs> Flamekin's out. Yeah, that thing. That yeah, that sweet. one. The that, deck that is was, uh, itself. Master of Waves does, in fact, make elementals. Yeah, can you imagine all the card advantage off the Risen Reef? How are you, how are you making enough elementals in your three-color deck for because Master of Waves? Because most of, of them are blue. I, I don't think that's Even how that works. Even if it's for two, that's good enough. Okay, sure. <laughs> this deck sounds awful. <laughs> Let's go. You know what? Look at the format, though. Look at what we're playing. We can play whatever we want, apparently. I have no idea what life totals are, by the way, because I can't tell what uh, number he put into Kessig Wolf run there. It really doesn't matter. Hall of Heliod's Generosity plus Mirari Conjecture turns. What was the card that Anthony <laughs> top decked against Alex? That That is a uh, modern staple collective... Uh, Savage Alliance. Or Savage Alliance, yes. That is the Escalate card from Eldritch Moon. Uh, it has the modes uh, Shock Something, do one damage to each creature, and give all your creatures Trample. And he picked all three modes because he had a ton of mana. And it's Escalate for one. And it killed all of the spirit tokens. And then, uh... And then he killed him. Yeah. Mitch Scoops. Hey, man, we're talking a lot of shit about this Naya Zoo, but Here. Anthony's about to be 4-0. Yeah, I don't know what's happening. <laughs> let's, let's, uh, let's bring up sideboards. All right, well, so Mitch, let's see what he can bring in to make this a little better. Assume it's chained to the rocks or something. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> All right, so Mitch Mitch could bring in 
Uh, collective Dude, brutality. Shame. Collective brutality is great. Um, Dude, he's playing Angra at the Flame Chain in his board. Let's just talk about that. That one's that one's pretty sweet. Uh, Angra the Gods is pretty good. Uh, Huntmaster the Fells is decent. Uh, there's a Plague Engineer in the board. That means so he's on one main deck Plague Engineer, which is weird. A lot of the Jun decks are doing it now. I, I don't really like that. That's kind of I, I'm not really high on that card in general. Uh, I'm not either. A bunch of people are sideboarding it in Bridgevine, and I I don't get it. Um. Anthony's gonna bring in literally all the same cards he brought in last round. Yeah, there's not a lot for Mitch to to bring in here actually. Well, because who in their right mind sleeves up Nyazu and brings it to honestly. The tournament? Honestly, I might bring in Weather the Storm just to be two mana gain six life. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? You could have a busted turn where it could be two mana gain nine if Anthony double spells. Yeah, that probably is enough reason to bring <laughs> it in against any <laughs> aggro deck. Uh, but Collector Roof does nothing. Ancient Grips does nothing. Brutality is very good. Uh, if he's not already main decking some number of them, uh, he should bring it in. He should bring it in anyway. Uh, Fulminator Mage to blow up Stirring Wildwood. Uh, it don't actually, I don't think he actually does that, but <laughs> that would be funny. <laughs> Fulminator uh, Mage. Got to make sure we can cover all the bases, guys. <laughs> uh, Spellbomb does nothing. No, he does not, Dennis. Angrath is too slow to matter. Uh, Anger the Gods is good. And <coughs> uh, as far as Anthony's side, um, Blessed Alliance is okay. Uh, Mitch is fairly threat light. So it'll always get some. Well, actually, no. That's a, that's that one is the one that has sack and attacking creature, right? So that might Which not one? always. Uh, Blessed Alliance. The new I, I don't symmetry and Adnaz are nah. Ooh. Okay. So here's the thing. I looked at that card and I thought it was really good, and I d I couldn't think of a home that would want that type of effect. Adnaz would definitely be a deck that wants that. Which card? Pull it up. It's a new card. I've never seen that card. You know what makes me think that card is supposed to be played in Eternal is the art. It looks like an old art card. Can you pull that up on the screen for our Twitch chat? It's a it's essentially each player gets to vamp tutor. For one rip black. Um. Yeah, that's probably good enough for Adnaz. Like I'm, I'm trying to think of a situation where you get screwed by your opponent being able to also tutor, and I don't think there is. Seb McKinnon is one of the best magic artists. Yeah. I think he did the art for Deliver Unto Evil 2. Do you want to pull that one up? That's a card from the last set. Yeah, um, yeah I remember it. That card what, uh, is another card that when I looked at the art, I'm like, this card feels like it's supposed to be played in Eternal. Yeah, this one. But just because if you look at the art, it looks like... An old card, you know what I mean? It looks yeah. like it, it's old, and I love the art for that. That's one of my favorite arts in a recent card is the Deliver Unto Evil. Goes hardy with Obnixilis. Yep. Man, I'm really going to be disappointed in this store's meta if Nyazu 4 0 splits. Yeah, I agree. I mean, he beat Alexander, he beat the Boogeyman. But, like, I really want to know what the rest of his matchups were. The art on Deliver Unto Evil, is that what you're talking about, Bronze? Pull that art up, John, just for a second. That art is so nice. Red should have gotten Stranglehold as a ley line. Stranglehold? That feels like an old card. Your opponents can't search libraries. Begin an extra turn. Uh... That's funny. <laughs> I as a ley line. <laughs> I don't know that that that's needed. Do you know how good that would make mono red prison in modern as a ley line? Yeah, that'd be a kind of an obnoxious. Oh no, fetches piece, so. for you, and then I blood moon. <laughs> so you not only and now I have just a bunch of unusable fetches. Can't even fetch your basics. That's obnoxious. I I don't know. So I I'm just trying to wonder. I'm just wondering, like, what what matchups did Anthony run into before this that allowed him to get here? We know we know Ant uh, Alexander earlier. Uh, I don't know. He like clutched that out with a last second top deck. But like round one and two, he must have. I don't know. 
I'm trying to imagine how you go to a modern tournament with Naya Zoo and avoid running into a bad matchup. Just go ass. Uh, that would require me to, like, climb over Tom here. And I'm not, like, getting that's, out of here. That's not worth it. Anthony reveals uh, Thalia, Heretic, Cathar, Lightning, Helix, and Thrun the Last Troll. Plus a, a checklist card of some sort. I don't know. I, I really stopped. Come on, Tom. Go ask. They're in the middle of their game. I will after the round. Oh, no. Is that Thrun? Well, here's the thing about Thrun. He can just make a goif that's bigger than Thrun and have it sit there forever. And just block it. Or he can thought seize it. He's got a few turns. Yeah. Do it for the chat. I think... Uh, All right, fine. I'm going. I agree with taking the Thalia here. Um, it's like the only mm -hmm. card that really does anything in his hand, and it uh, threatens to slow him down a bit, too. Um, Thalia is actually very good right now. Uh, he told me that he's main decking it mostly because of Bridgevine. Um, it uh, stops the combo if it's out. Because your creatures are answered tapped, so you can't convoke. Mm. <laughs> He's really salty that I asked that question. What is wrong with my deck? Why did do you guys need to know? Did he answer? Beat, <laughs> yeah, he said I beat blue white control round one and infect round two. So he beat. I don't know how that happened. <laughs> yeah, I'm saying, man. And he got real upset. He's like, "What's wrong with my deck?" <laughs> I'm I'm actually even more upset now that I know that he ran into two real decks. <laughs> I can still hear him yelling. Yeah, out there. he's still it? salty. <laughs> He's I hope, popping you, off I hope out you guys there. in chat are happy. Yeah, because now Anthony's popping off. <laughs> He's made no plays for two turns. Actually, no, he played. Uh, he bl yeah, right. I I don't understand. Naizu is reliable. I mean, no, it wasn't Devin. I don't know. This this is looking rough for Anthony now because uh, Mitch is just going to play Liliana on an empty board. <laughs> Dennis? You know what? Time that guy out. <laughs> that timing. guy sucks. <laughs> not timing anyone out. God has spoken. You're safe today, Dennis. But next time. That's great. We need confirmation. <laughs> you know... I don't know. I don't know if we're better or worse off having known this information now. <laughs> Fire. <laughs> Got him. Reliably X3 drop. <laughs> Fucking destroyed. <laughs> Is he ticking down? What? Oh, he t he ticked up and then Anthony fetch shocked lightning helix it. I believe is what happened. So, yeah, he stayed at the same life total. Er... Oh, he's got to discard a card first. I feel like we're going to a game three soon. Yeah, there's going to be a, he's going to be untapping with a Liliana here. Uh, and Anthony has no board, so probably. Although that's a Shalai in hand. So... Shalai's pretty good. If Mitch doesn't have a uh, Assassin's Trophy, that's going to give him problems. Uh, he can't minus Liliana targeting Anthony if uh, he has a Shalai in play. Anthony really making sure he knows what card is to discard. Arlen Cord? <laughs> yeah, get that out of here. Arlen Cord not at its best in the Jun matchup, or really in any matchup. Uh, Arlen Cord's okay in Jun. He, he draws a bolt for Liliana. I don't know, know that he wants to throw it away, though. Oh, okay, Ooh. yeah, that's a good answer. Look at that, the sta the modern house gruel spell breaker. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. What is this tech? How is he about to be 4-0 with it? I just feel it. I just feel it. He's gonna win. <laughs> uh, Should have brought know. in so Loxidot like, Smiter. Alright, Firemancer. 
Discard two cards, draw two cards, make two elementals. Okay, that's a start. <coughs> Let's see what Anthony can do here. He's got a bolt. It's fetching. Bloodbraid off, probably. Bloodbraid time. I'm hoping. It's one of my favorite cards in modern. I, all my favorite cards cascade. Gonna get Shreked. Start spamming Shrek emojis in the chat. I don't think they even have them. What, uh, what is the activated ability on Pyromancer do? Uh, you can exile it from your graveyard to make some dudes. Oh, yeah. Two more right, dudes. Right. Okay. Coming in. Yeah, that's definitely blocked there. We don't have yeah, Shrek, he's but got we a, got something. He's got to order damage here. I wonder if maybe you leave the Pyromancer alive so he can't activate it. Or wait, no. How does it kill both? Because it's it? a 2-2 two, two and a one Oh, one. I thought it was a 2-3. Okay, okay. July. Uh, that's kind of hard to deal with. Attack for one. Okay, going to play around Bolt. Dark Confidant. Bob. That is pretty dangerous here. I was going to say, that's pretty risky. With a three power flyer in play. We got the classic bio, uh, Pot of Greed. That's a good one. Mm. What do we got, Anthony? Think about what he's going to do with this bolt. We got another Gruul Spellbreaker, actually. Yeah, he's got no way to deal with that. I like Gruul Spellbreaker bolt this turn. You know, looking at looking at this, the way this Jund deck is set up. Uh, no, okay. He's he's very, this uh, Jund sideboard is very different from a traditional one. Like he has he has no sweepers. He has no like, extra removal.